Hello and welcome to a Forza Motorsport 7 video. In this video, I'm going to be showing off two new features that have just been added. One's not officially added, it's in its experimental stage. But these new features are the new drag race and the brand, the brand new meetup system. I'm going to show you both of them in this video. I've already built a car for the drag races, you can see that on screen now, the Ford XB Coupe. It's not finished yet, I'm still working on it, but enough talking about the car, let's go into it. So what you need to do, you need to go into free play, and I've already got mine loaded up. Now, if you don't have it loaded up, down the bottom, just above the picture, there'll be a big yellow button that says Experimental Drag. Press on it, it'll take you straight there. It'll set it all up for you, no, no problem. Now these Experimental Drag modes, this completely changes the way you think of drag racing. It's no more just hold the trigger and go. You have to wait for you have to wait for the Christmas tree and you have to get your launch perfect now. So I put you go up against a random, a random person, like a, a random driver car. In this case, it's a Ferrari race car. So let's get into it. So you got a nice little animation. Nine, sec nine second run, that's not too bad actually. And there you go, at the end, you'll see your total time, your elapsed time. So that's the time you actually, from the green to stop, that's your elapsed time. Your reaction time, that's how fast you accelerate, you initially press accelerate, how fast you, you shift. 60 feet time, I'm not too sh sure on that one, that's like, I'm pretty sure that's acceleration. I don't know a lot about drag racing, so. Then obviously you get your trap speed, which is what you do the whole run. So that's, that's that. And I'll show you another little feature. Also, no loading, no loading times, it's just, bam, you're in. Now, watch what happens if I just jump the start. I'll get, I'll get a red light foul, but I'm still able to race. And at the end, it'll just say DQ. It's not like other games where it'll be, it'll be like, if you jump the red light, it won't just kick you straight out of the gate. It will still allow you to do the run. So that is the experimental drag mode for now. Now again, it's only in the, in the experimental mode. It will get better. I have heard they are going to work more on it to bring in more stuff and help balance it a bit. What they've got for now is a brilliant start. And I encourage any of you to go and have a go with it. Even if you do not like drag racing, at least go for one run.
So he technically won because I got the false start. But anyway, I'm going to show you the new meetup system. Okay, so here we are. We are in the hopper. And everything's going to look fairly normal. Until about here. Open drift meetup. Open airfield meet meetup. And you go to the end. Oh, they removed it. Oh, no, they didn't. They put it there. Okay, so you got open truck day meetup. Open drift meetup. And you have open airfield meetup. Track day is exactly what it is. You go into the track, you drive whatever car you feel like. You go around as many laps as you like, as long as you like. There is no time limit, no first no first place stuff. Apart from there is like a little leaderboard in game. And that's for lap times. So if you want to set the fastest lap, you absolutely can. Drift is the same thing. No lap. No time, it's just, you go in there, drift, have fun. Open airfield, same thing as these two, but you're in the airfield. So let me get in into this and I'll show you what it's like. Okay, we are finally in a lobby. And this is the track they meet up. As you can see, there's all sorts of cars. It's like if you were to host a track day in real life, you just bring whatever you wanted. I mean, there's a guy running a Formula One car, you got Indy cars, you got Land Evos. And the voting system has changed massively as well. So if we go into it, you know it's here, 5 votes, 31%, 1 vote, 6%, 0 votes, 0%. Zero now, if that goes over more than 50%, it will automatically change to that track. I don't want to do Bernese up, so I'm going to stick with this one. I'm not going to take the Falcon. Skyline. Now the race is already underway. It's not even a race, it's just people already on track. And what if I want to join? I just press join race. And bam! I'm on track. The ghosting will go away soon, there we go. So this is literally just a track day. You go around, you have fun. And the lobbies are actually fairly clean, which I'm surprised about. With when there's something with no rules, apparently people behave. But you go into the other lobbies where there's all rules and you get people who don't know what we get people who don't know how to behave.
And like, most people are good, like. Usually, if you, do, if you see a faster car coming up behind you, just get out of the way. Simple as that. You will get people that will try to battle you as well, which is really cool. is not the fastest thing out there. It's built for a completely different genre slash track. Now when you see that how it's just said the how it just said Porsche 911 just pitted, that means that he's actually going to go change his car. Or he could just be pitting to change tires or whatever. So we go, we got F1 car. We go to the wall. There we go. That's all you gotta do. Move out the way. I'll do another lap, then I'll show you how the um, how the car system works. Because it's a pretty good system. Two guys that look like they're battling. So I want to try and get on straight before they get behind me. IndyCar Let him take the outside What's that other car? That's a Porsche isn't it? Yes it is That's a quick Porsche actually If he's actually able to keep up to an IndyCar Instead of just blocking people, I'm just going to pull up here and change my car here. So how this works, you just hit start, you press on go to pits, and you change your car. So say I wanted, what's a car, what's a car I wanted? I know a car I'll take for a lap. There you are. So I'll grab this Ute and I'll go join race. 
and as you can see it puts me back on the start line. So there you go, this is, these are the new modes, new experimental drag, and then new meetup. And I'm doing a terrible job at driving, but it doesn't matter, I'm only showing off what's going on. So that is it guys, if you want to see more of this or maybe you got some like little challenges or something, oh he's wide, he's okay, he's got it, what's this next guy going to do? He's good. Yes, if you want to see more, more of this, if you really want to, I can check out the um, the open drift. Although my drifting style is completely different to what everyone else's is, but if you wanted to see that, I can do that. If you have little challenges you want me to do, like I don't know, maybe overtake cars or try and set the fastest lap time or something like that, let me know. Also, if you just want to meet up in here, you can add me. You can add me on Xbox, and we can do a meet up because I believe that this stuff works in in private as well. So, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.